A man is in custody after a deadly triple shooting in Broomfield this morning that left one person dead and two others in the hospital. This all happened near the Walgreens at Midway Boulevard in Zuni Street. That's where Denver 7's Gary Bro joins us live now with the latest. Gary. Yeah, and by on shortly after the shooting, police already told us they thought they had an idea of who the suspect was. Not long after they told us that, they made an arrest in the shooting. In fact, you can see the crime scene tape already in the trash. The scene is clear here, right at the edge of Broomfield and Westminster. This is a very busy intersection. We are seeing countless cars coming by all day long. In fact, even down the road here, we're looking at shops several families eating dinner outside at a local restaurant. So this is a very busy area. Uh, this all happened around 1130 this morning. Uh, police say it happened around in the parking lot right outside of this Walgreens here. It's a very busy time around 1130 on a Saturday. If you think about it, a lot of people picking up the prescriptions, police are telling us that they do have at least one witness, but we are told many in the store didn't even hear the multiple gunshots. Uh, coming up out of the coming out of the store, they were in total disbelief when they saw the scene. Uh, it's believed that all four people involved today knew each other. And here's what Broomfield PD had to say about the decision not to issue a shelter in place. A lot of people have been asking why we did not issue what's called a reverse 911 or in Broomfield, it's called a code red telling residents to shelter in place. We were confident very quickly that this community was safe that this was not a random incident where this person was going to go hurt other people and that we had uh, wrapped up the scene very quickly. And I mentioned very busy area. Also, as you can see, a lot of cameras in this area. I'm working with Broomfield Police right now to find out if these surveillance cameras in the area had anything to do with the very quick arrest that was made only hours after the shooting. Now, as for the victims involved, we know at least one is expected to be okay. Uh, one final thing here, if you shop in the area, especially here at Walgreens, we've seen countless people either coming up for their COVID shots or looking for a prescription. Just so you are aware, this Walgreens will be closed for the remainder of the day, expected to open back up tomorrow. Reporting live here in Broomfield, I'm Gary Brode, Denver 7.